Last question for you, and we'll do a much longer interview and get the entire story. But we, we found this letter kind of amazing. It's from January 20th, 2011, which I think puts you in your late 30s, mid, mid to late right, 30s. Right, right. Okay, so you're, you're a younger man. This is from the Vice President of the United States, Joe Biden, to you personally, and it's personalized here at the bottom. Devin Archer, Rosemont Seneca Partners, that was your partnership with Hunter Biden in yes. Georgetown. Dear Devin, I apologize for not getting a chance to talk to you at the luncheon yesterday. I was having trouble getting away from hosting President Hu. Hu Jintang was yes. running China at that point. I hope I get a chance to see you again soon with Hunter. I hope you enjoyed lunch. Thanks for coming. Sincerely, Joseph R. Biden Jr. P.S. Handwritten. Happy you guys are together. So there are many levels here. But here's the vice president of the United States saying to you, a man in his mid-30s, who's not a government official, I'm sorry I was occupied with the guy who runs the world's largest country. I would much rather talk to you and thank you. What was he thanking you for? Well, uh, you know, first of all, it's a lovely letter and it was... <laughs> <laughs> it's quite enthusiastic. It's a little weird though, right? Yeah, well, it was, it, listen, it was, it was kind of the beginning of our partnership and he was thanking me and thanking Hunter, I think, at the end of the day for bringing this idea of this government regulatory strategic advisory business into the private equity world. And I think he was excited about the prospects for Hunter and, um, you know, he was uh, just, just thanking me. I think it was a nice gesture. It was a nice, for sure. For sure. Very polite. It's, it gets a 10 on the etiquette scale, but he's a vice president of the United States right. and he's talking about foreign business deals with you and thanking you for right. that. I think, again, it, it goes back to my other, earlier point in, in, yeah, I think I hit at the time, I think I hit the jackpot in finding the regulatory environment or company that can navigate right to the top. But, you know, obviously as time was told, you know, being a little bit too close to the sun ends up burning you. For sure. And, and it did you, and Absolutely. You, you suffered greatly for it. And this is not a criticism of you. I, I would think as a business guy, um, you use every advantage. These are not business guys. This is the vice president of the United States. He's right. not allowed to be working on businesses with foreign governments when he's vice president. I don't think. Not that I know. <laughs> <laughs> but here he is.